Good morning. Good morning. It's Morning Devils with Pastor Jen, and today is laundry day in the Wagger house. So I've already, you can see way over there, maybe some of it's hanging up because I hang up a lot of my clothes. And, uh, and this is like my laundry day shirt, right? The, the things that you wear at the end of your clean clothes to do the laundry. And so as I was, one of the things that I love about my place is there's a laundromat downstairs. So I go downstairs and I put in all of my loads and then I wait 45 minutes and I go and put in my dryer. And one of the things that I love about laundry day, besides the clean clothes, um, is taking things out of the dryer, specifically sheets, not sweatshirts because I hang them to dry, or towels. And I have like one of these sheets with me and oh, I can still feel it. And as you take it out, I'm just like, oh, it feels so warm. And sometimes I'll actually like wrap it around myself and I'll be like, because the bounce makes it smell so good if you use a fabric softener or maybe it's just that fresh smell of clean. And there's just something about lingering with a warm sheet or a warm towel and it's just like oh that is just so good right that is just so good and it got me thinking that I'm actually not very good at lingering. I tell you guys all the time, like stop and smell the roses, go outside, like take time. And like, I'm <laughs> when I think about lingering, like how long do I have to linger for? And is this going to throw off my schedule, right? Am I gonna miss out on something else because I chose to linger in that area and to take in the delight and, um, Can I be honest? That's kind of stinking thinking. Sometimes we miss out on really good moments in life because we're afraid of missing out on something else. Right? And it's like, no, 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 I have to do this and this and this and this. And, and are our schedules so jammed packed that we can't take just a few minutes to stop and like hold the laundry to feel the warmth of to take in that fresh smell, to just enjoy the moment, right? To, to sit on your deck or your porch or your balcony with a cup of coffee or a cup of juice and just, right? Listen to the birds. Listen to the wind and watch it do its thing through the leaves. Like we, we're so afraid sometimes that we're going to miss out on something that we actually miss out on what's important. And in those moments, God longs to speak to us, to j just like, stop, stop. I have something I want to say to you. I have something I want to show you. Or enjoy this moment. Enjoy the warmth of the laundry. Enjoy the moment of silence on your deck, right? Enjoy just watching your kids. That's one of the things um, that I am constantly uh, reminded of is, you know, so often we're, we're like, we want to rush through all the times in our life. And it's just like, let's just enjoy the moment. Let's just enjoy the moment. You know, what's important will still be there. And if it's really, really important, God's going to make sure we don't miss out on it. But there's so many moments that he wants us to enjoy. We just need to stop and enjoy them. And one of uh, the passages uh, that helps me to remember this, there's two in particular. Uh, so this is Psalm 34, 8, and it says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man or woman who takes refuge in him. And I just like taste and see. Stop. Like in order to actually taste and see, you have to stop. <laughs> right? This isn't like a marathon where somebody's like hanging, handing you out the water and you're drinking it, guzzling it down. And you're going to keep. No, this is like actually stop. Stop and just take in the moment. Taste and see 
that the Lord is good. We need to stop and actually, you know, take account of all the things the Lord is doing in our lives, all the things um, that we need to be giving thanks for. And that actually turns our eyes back onto who Jesus is and creates that, you know, that relationship of back and forth where, where he's, you know, speaking to us and then we're receiving it and then we're turning it back to him. But we have to stop long enough to hear what he's saying. Another verse that often I'm reminded of is, uh, this is Psalm 37 and it's 37 verse 4. It says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. It's good, eh? Delight yourself in the Lord. And the Lord has created this world full of wonderful things that he wants us to delight in, including the smell of fresh laundry and the warmth that it gives. Or you pull on that sweatshirt after it's been in the laundry, if that's what you do. Or when you take it off the, la the, the line and it has that wonderful outside smell, right? I, I always loved that. But God has created this world full of delights for us. We need to stop and actually, I want to say, go collect the delights. Go collect the delights that he has waiting for you today. Don't be so busy that you, you miss out on all of the joy that God has for you. Stop, smell the laundry, wrap the warm towel around you, enjoy watching the steam just come up from the dishwasher if that's what yours does, and just enjoy the moment. You know, if your kids are being quiet, sit and just watch them be quiet. It might be the only chance you get to today. But collect the delights that the Lord wants to give you today. Stop and taste and see that the Lord is good. All right, so let's pray. Oh God, you are so good and you love us so much. And Lord, you have filled this world with wonderful things that you want us to take delight in. But sometimes we're so afraid of missing out on what's important that we actually miss out on what's important. It's the little things that you want us to see. Lord, you created the way a bumblebee dances and it's I want to say uh, bumbling way from from uh, flower to flower you created the song of each bird you created the way a squirrel twitches and chatters and you want us to take it all in you created things for us to delight in the way that a child laughs and the way a woman and a man dance together like these are all delights that you have created for us to enjoy. So Father, would you help us to stop and to taste and see that you are good? Would you help us to, to collect up those delights and to give thanks for the joy that you have put in this world for us to enjoy? And then Lord, help us to push it back up to you, to, to give thanks to praise your name. Lord God, thank you for fresh laundry. You're, you're so good. We love you, Lord. In your name. Amen. Amen. All right, my dear friends. I hope you have a great day. Remember to like, share, go outside, delight yourself in the Lord, taste and see that he is good, and go help your community experience Christ. Bye.